Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to Synchronicity Web TV. I am your host, Nadia Shaw, and this is your moment of synchronicity. Well, I am just so very excited to introduce and to celebrate with you, my friend, Clarissa Dolphin. Now, Clarissa is actually going to be speaking at Embracing the Community, a celebration of astrologies. This is a joint London School of Astrology and Synchronicity University event that takes place over the autumn equinox weekend of 2021. And when I was sitting down with Frank Clifford, who runs the London School of Astrology, I run Synchronicity University. Clarissa was one of those people where I was like, we have to have Clarissa on. I've gotten to know her in the last few months. She's brilliant. She's insightful. And she does this really uh, on the forefront type of astrology called vibrational astrology. So I'm really looking forward to exploring that with you today. So welcome, Clarissa. Thank you for being here. Nadia, thank you for having me. Are you kidding me? I'm like exploding with excitement. Like it's such an honor. Oh my God, of course. And it is just so lovely to see you doing your unique thing, shining so bright in the way that you do, and so much at the forefront of this astrology called vibrational astrology. So what is vibrational astrology? Vibrational astrology, in a nutshell, is evidence-based astrology where we do extreme case sampling research on charts with a whole bunch of AA data, um, and we determine you know what the meanings of things are from that so that's like our baseline that's the boring baseline in my opinion um my personal line i get it yeah yeah the nerdy stuff the I nerdy think. stuff yeah like hyper nerd <laughs> which like you know totally gives me joy but like basically in a nutshell what it is is it's relating to the chart, every component in the chart, all the planets, everything you can possibly think of as energy. And, and really it takes a step away from archetypes and it goes to straight energy. So, you know, Mars, instead of Mars being qualified as a warrior or something like that, which uh, archetypes work too, you know, period, there's pure honor. So don't take this as hateration at all. It's Mars becomes action only in vibrational astrology. And then, um, you know, we kind of layer things on top of things to get kind of like a pure essence of energy, if you will, something that's like, you know, and this is, this is something that, you know, I love all different types of astrology. I'm also certified in horary. Um, I'm obsessed with traditional techniques, Hellenistic techniques, like it's pure honor. And um, as a person, you know, I guess because I'm a Virgo moon or something, I don't know, but like, I'm so OCD. So when I read and divine, you know, with the chart, um, you know, in an archetypal fashion, like I typically trip my own self up. Whereas, you know, divining through the apparatus of vibrational astrology, if you will, it is a sensation first astrology. It is downloading and channeling the feelings of things and conveying that instead. And it's like, it's like beyond feelings because, you know, the, the vibration, we read harmonics. That's not a new concept, you know, it's already, it's existed for thousands of years in Vedic astrology, you know, as the Saptamsa chart, the Navamsa chart, they're the same calculations, only we also calculate different numbers other than, you know, the Saptamsa, which is the seventh vibration, Navamsa is the ninth vibration, we'll do 13th vibration, I mean, hit us with a number, we got all kinds of vibrations, and you can think about all these vibrations as literally dimensions, you know, fractal reality. What we're stepping into in vibrational astrology really is quantum physics oriented. So, you know, a way the, our, our philosophies and actually breakthroughs in our system and our research, like completely align with modern quantum physics, like the discovery of the God particle and all that kind of stuff in a way that is so ridiculously insane and awesome it's like is this like the real life that you know astrology can be quantum like oh my god like what are we stepping into so I hope that's a good kind of 
little synopsis of VA. It sounds incredible, like a little mind blowing, I have to say, but I never thought of going from archetype, like to me, it was always like astrology's archetypes, but it's almost like taking it to the next level. It's like saying we can just go beyond archetype and we can go right to the feeling, right to the vibration, right to the emotion. And yeah, Mars would be passion and anger and action, all those things that you described. It, it is kind of mind blowing to consider the implications. It's quite uh, intensive and beautiful to consider that we can just go right to pure energy. I would agree with that as well. And I think, you know, one thing that is, is very um, kind of in, in my real time experience having consulted with so many hundreds of people and so many hundreds of sessions using uh, the, the system is really uh, being able to feel the resonance, like the energy of, of people in, in their, um, you know, complex and beautiful uh, kind of universal composition, if you will. Like you get, like it, it creates the astrology chart as you know this complex symphony of resonances at the time that you're born you know we're not reinventing the will like we still use the natal chart we erected like everybody else you know all the great planes collapsing and all that stuff but what we're saying is that the points on the chart where the planets are landing across the ecliptic and whatever is making a sound and is vibrating in 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 particular ways so it's almost like you know you can hear it you can see it you can taste it you can feel it just like just like regular music i mean like you know i have a habit of uh bumping a lot of bass in my car every time like <laughs> my mom gets to the car she's like how you cannot listen to music this loud you know but like I'm an 11 vibration. I'm a Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, two minute orb natally. So I'm like about, give me that base, you know? Like, whereas like a seventh harmonic would be kind of more like, let's go to Beethoven tonight, you know? Like, so <laughs> it's, it's cool. It's cool to feel it. That's so intriguing. I really, I would love to see my chart from that vibrational <laughs> perspective to understand why I like the music that I like. I'm sure mm -hmm. as I'm hearing you talk, I'm thinking my Mars, Pluto, Sun, Grand Trine might have something to do with why I like, <laughs> yeah, right? I like reggaeton, I like hip hop. These are my my musical tastes. And I think that that Grand Trine says it all right there. <laughs> uh, I would agree. That's got to be eighth harmonic, eleventh harmonic bump in, and we should probably go out, Nadia. <laughs> we should go dancing. I swear yeah. to God. Where are you located? I'm in Los Angeles. Because I will come there just so that we can go dancing. I swear to you. <laughs> or I will get us tickets to a reggaeton concert when concerts start happening again, because <laughs> I miss concerts so much. Like that's the one oh, thing yeah. I miss most with the pandemic is not being able to have concerts taking place. So yes, that is on the agenda for us. We will go to it's a regular on. concert. Okay. Now, <laughs> and I, you think I'm kidding and I'm not. If I say it, <laughs> you think I'm kidding, but just you wait. I'm going to be calling you up and be like, oh my God, Daddy Yankees in your town or Beth in your town. We're going dancing. Come on. I got the tickets. Don't you worry. Hey, I'm waiting for that call because I love me some bad money. <laughs> and look at this, everybody out there who's watching, just keep an eye on social media. When concerts start happening again and in Los Angeles, you will see me and Clarissa up in your Instagram stories, up in my Instagram <laughs> stories. So just wait for that. Okay, so what are you going to be teaching though? What's the class going to be about that you're teaching with this conference? Well, with this conference, I will be uh, teaching about midpoints. So, you know, like it's to me, you know, we're talking about quantum physics and whatever and musical compositions of the skies and the planets. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, actually, it's, it's quite simple to read. 
Uh, you know, and midpoints to me are no matter what system you you practice, right? Because we're not going to learn vibrational astrology in an hour or in a day or whatever. This is a tool that any astrologer can use in his, her, their, their arsenal, you know, because it's just, it's, it's really basically if we're thinking about the concept of, you know, the musicality of the chart, and we're just looking at natal direct midpoint structures, we're basically looking at key notes and how they vibrate, you know, the, the strength of how they vibrate. So that whole Mars, Jupiter, Uranus thing that I was talking about, that's Uranus is conjunct my Mars Jupiter midpoint a two minute orb natally. So what that does is it creates a resonance that goes throughout the entire chart, your entire life. If you have anything under one minute orb, that's gonna be fire. That's gonna be one of those trigger points and uh, reliable points of accuracy in the delineation process, in the consult, consult with the client. And so, you know, whatever you're using, like, for example, like some people don't have a lot of, of uh, strong aspects in their natal chart. You know, they might, you know, depend, they might have, you know, not a grand trine, but a few trines here and there or whatever. And really you can access even more information by looking at their direct midpoint structures and in fact, incorporating it into your practice, like say, hey, this is under a one minute orb. This is gonna be a strong force as well. Like if you ever find yourself like, okay, I don't know what else to talk about. Like we've already done the degrees and the decanates and the, like what else? We'll look at the midpoints and that'll give you so much information to roll with. Wow, so you will be teaching on understanding midpoints from a vibrational astrology perspective. And this will give people tools that they can start to implement right away looking at their chart. Absolutely, it's, you know, the lecture's designed to have it, have you incorporate this idea and this technique into your practice easily. You know, like I, don't, I really don't like, you know, lecturing and teaching by just doing kind of like the abstract blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I want people to like use it and find value in it. So we're gonna like leave the lecture like, oh my God, I have a new tool that I can actually use and apply and play with now. Like how exciting, how fun. Yeah, it sounds so much fun. I know I will be listening. I will be there with you and I will be like looking at my chart while you're teaching. While you have the stage and I'm off camera, my chart is going to be open so that I get to learn something about uh, what you're going to be teaching. Vibrational astrology and midpoints. It sounds so exciting. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Nadia. Now I'm hungering for your chart. I'm like, oh my God, like, yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Can I just say, I think I said at the beginning, I've known you for a few months now, and I just think that you're brilliant and you're such a light and you have this enthusiasm and love for astrology and it just shines through what you do. And you're at the forefront of helping us to evolve and see the chart differently. So it just all comes together in this wonderful package. And so thank you for being a part of Embracing the Community a Celebrations of Astrologies. And I'm really looking forward to learning from you. Thank you, Clarissa. I did, oh, Nadia. And thank you. And just like a little side note, like homegirl Clarissa is totally fangirling over Nadia Shaw. Oh so the fact that... Like dreams come true, okay? Like I'm now presenting at, you know, one of her amazing online events. So yeah, like we're out here living dreams. So thank you, Nadia, for having I, me. Oh my God, <laughs> thank you so much, Clarissa. That means a lot to me because I like to me, astrology has always been a vehicle and I just wanted to inspire people. I wanted to give people hope and that I'm inspiring you and someone who I know is so brilliant to really take a lead in astrology the way that you have been. It means so much to me. So thank you, Clarissa. Oh, pleasure. And uh, inspiring, have inspired for over a decade. Like this is, we're coming up on 20 years of 
Nadia Shaw inspiration. So, I love hey you. now. <laughs> hey, I love you. Thank you for that. I want to like take that snippet out and put it like on the homepage of my website to say like, <laughs> this is what Clarissa Dolman said about me. This is how cool I am that Clarissa Dolman said this about me. I appreciate you so much, Clarissa. And so, yes, everybody out there, Links in the description below, coupon codes, discount codes, all of that in the description below, as well as more information on how to find Clarissa as well. So again, Clarissa, thank you. I love you. I'm going to see you at the party in September at the Autumn Equinox. And thank you, everybody, for being here. And until we connect again, take care. Bye. Bye.